Well, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and today I'm at the Acadian Village in Lafayette, Louisiana. And this is an area where they have preserved some of the old buildings and residences of the Acadian people. So I'm going to show you around the property here. As it shows here, it's preservation of the original Acadian houses. 250th anniversary of the Cajuns of Louisiana. So I'm going to walk around and show you all these buildings. And this is the store they have with various related products. And this is where you go in and buy your admission ticket, which is only like about $7 for seniors. And there are a lot of ducks around. <laughs> There's this big pond in the middle. And this is the first house, La Maison Bernard, 1840. So let's go in here. Oh, they've got a nice huge painting on the wall and a typewriter like my grandfather had. <laughs> There's an old wheelchair. And this must be the sewing room. Here's the fireplace. And look at this old record player. Look how tall that thing is. And they got a collection of old records here. And outside they have these stairs that go up to the ceiling to that trap door there that goes up to the roof. Here's a bathtub that they've made into a flower pot. And here's the next house. We've got a couple bedrooms here. Well, those don't look too comfortable. This is nice. They've got a double fireplace on both sides here so they only need one chimney I guess another huge painting this must be well there's a couple washing machines and guess what's right outside the backyard <laughs> the outhouses and this is a triple one for family events. <laughs> a little one for the kitty. And this one is a double wide. <laughs> and here's the next house. Wow, this one's got electric lights. Big cabinet there. Well, they got a lot of big paintings around here. Things on display under glass. This looks like a movable clothes closet. So let's move on to the next house. Got a nice pond here. 1840. Let's see what's in here. Sign says smoking. <laughs> I bet it says no right there. Oh, this is a schoolhouse. Look at this. And there's the library. And the teacher's desk. Nothing in it. Chairs on the wall for extra seating and they got a doll collection here huh all right here's some kids pictured out front so now going across the bridge and then over to the right is the end of the pond White House over there. 
and this is the covered shed here's a completely unrestored buggy and this must be the horse for it <laughs> several trailers in here here's another shed with all sorts of old equipment another buggy there and in here is some kind of shop equipment and this is like a farm implement made for being pulled by mules maybe White House over here is actually Stutz Bar and Pool Tavern. And here's something very rare an elevator to get you up to the floor there. Maybe you French people can read this. You can see in the window it's locked, but you can see that it looks more like a banquet hall or something. And they've got a gas pump. We'll see how much gas is here. 30 cents a gallon, I'll take some. Here's a little building. Let's see what this is. It's locked. I looked in the window, there's not much in there. It's a real small thing. I've seen a few of these signs. I don't know what banquet from illegal means. Look at this tree. A huge tree and look at that big complex of roots. They also have this butterfly habitat and the lady in the office there told me that the butterflies are now in Mexico but in the spring they will come up this way and she said somehow they know to come here they also have a veterans memorial here and right across from there is a huge outdoor banquet facility with a big stage well there's a few more buildings here's one from 1830 it looks like it could really use a paint job oh wow they have some looms in here and here's a really wide loom and a spinning wheel Next is the chapel called the Open Door. Let's see if it is. Well, that's a pretty good sized chapel. Non-denominational as far as I can tell. And next by this really big tree is a really big house. This looks like a dining room. Another huge painting on the wall. And in here is a bedroom. And behind there are two children's rooms. And some children's toys. There, a little car and a tricycle. And here's the back door. I don't know what this is. Doesn't say. There's a little door down there. So, it might be used for cooking or water storage. And over another bridge to the doctor's office. Let's see what's in here. Oh, medicine cabinet. 
little bed. Got some wheelchairs in here. This might be the waiting room. And this would be where the doctor does his stuff. He's got some kind of equipment here. From the 1800s. <laughs> this is the administrative office building. And here's a little more modern outhouse <laughs> for the fans and the homes. Here's a brochure they gave me. If you want to read more about it. You can pause on the video here and read more about these buildings if you like. This used to be the residence of the doctor who the brochure said was the first dentist ever in Lafayette. Well, it's nice that they have maintained all these buildings and open to the public. So if you're anywhere around Lafayette, I think this would be worth spending a little time to see. Good day, folks.